Shabbat Shalom. A long time ago, and this very week, Moses was very, very tired. You see, all of the Israelites had made it across the Red Sea and gotten to Egypt, but the Torah, they hadn't received the Torah yet. And so all of the people would come to Moses with all of their questions and all of their problems all day long, every single day. And as Moses looked out on this long, endless line of people approaching with their concerns and their hardships, Moses started to wonder, am I really up to this never-ending task? And that that moment, Moses kind of thought back to some other moments in the past where he really wondered if he were up to the challenge. Like that very first time when God talked to Moses out of the burning bush. Moses was so excited. He felt so important, but then said, I, I'm slow of speech. Will Pharaoh even listen to me? Will the Israelites even listen to me? What does that mean, slow of speech? You know, the rabbis over the centuries have said, maybe it means Moses had a stutter. At that moment, Moses didn't feel certain would he be successful, but it wasn't the only time. In just last week's parsha, right before the story we're talking about today, the Israelites were set upon by an enemy in the desert, the Amalekites. The Amalekites saw the Israelites and immediately started to attack. Moses sent Joshua, one of his greatest chiefs, down to lead the battle against the Amalekites. But incredibly, God told Moses, keep your hand up in the air, just like Moses had to do to get the Israelites safely across the Red Sea. Moses was ready for another miracle, kept his hand up in the air, and as long as Moses held his hand in the air, the Israelites prevailed and won the battle. But every time Moses started to lower his arm just for a moment, the Israelites started to lose the battle, and Moses felt weaker and weaker and couldn't keep his arm up any longer. And now, here again, the same thing, looking out on all of the people with all of their problems and all of their concerns, Moses said, this is impossible. I can't do it. I can't do it any longer. I'm just too tired. But this week's Torah portion is named after Moses' father-in-law, Yitro. Now, Yitro was a very important man from Midian. He was a priest and a chief, and so he had a great deal of practical leadership experience. And Yitro said to Moses, What are you doing? You can't do this on your own. It's too much for one person. You need to find trusted elders and, and young people with great vision who can help you in solving the problems of the people and helping to hear their concerns. You can't do this on your own. You need other people to help you. And at that moment, when Moses heard Yitro's words, he remembered that when he had told God that he couldn't speak to Pharaoh and the Israelites because of being slow of speech, God said, don't do it alone. Go with your brother Aaron. Aaron is a confident public speaker. Aaron will speak to Pharaoh when you don't feel you can. And then just last week in the battle against the Amalekites, when Moses felt his arm could no longer be held up on his own, again his brother Aaron and his friend Hur, they helped hold Moses' arm up until the Amalekites were defeated. And so now this week, Moses realized 
it's the same again. I can't do all of this on my own. When life's problems seem insurmountable, that's when you need to ask for help. And my friends, it's the same for us today. Maybe we sometimes feel like the problems are endless, like it's a long line and we'll never see the last one. And it's at that moment we have to remember, we are not alone. We can call upon one another for help in those moments. We can do it together. It was good enough for Moses, the greatest leader the Jewish people ever had, and it's good enough for us to ask for help when times are tough. Shabbat Shalom.